Hi, I'm Starborn. Remember to be a star. You have to shine your own light, follow your own path, and not worry about the darkness because that's when stars shine brightest. If you've been looking at our website, starborninstitute.org, you would already know that the title of tonight's show uh, has a lot to do with the full moon that we are going to have on Monday at zero degrees of Aquarius. And since Aquarius rules the future, the title is The Dawn of a New Day. And that is because there are so many planets that are right at the start of their signs. In fact, there are seven out of the 10 planets that are all in very early degrees. And that certainly can indicate something that is being initiated or something that's new or something that is dark. Morning. And the seven planets that are in that position are Mars and Jupiter at six degrees of Cancer, and then the Sun is at zero degrees of Leo, and ahead of that is Venus at zero degrees of Virgo, and ahead of that is Saturn at five degrees of Scorpio, and it is direct now, and then the full moon is at zero degrees of Aquarius, and beyond that, ahead of that, is Neptune at five degrees of Pisces. So all seven of those planets are at six degrees or even earlier in the signs where they're located. And that simply means this is the beginning of something. It's the dawning of something. And since the dawn steals upon the earth rather gently, and it, it simply means that it is the light that is coming to guide us toward our future. It doesn't mean that the sun has risen to high noon and is glaring on us, but it does mean that each one of us can be thinking about the dawn of a new day now. We can be contemplating something new in our lives, and boy, are we all ready for that. Because to reinforce this idea of a dawn right now is the fact that the other three planets that are left are not even in the second half of their signs either. In fact. All 10 planets are only in the first half of the signs where they're located. There are no planets in the second half of any sign. That is amazing. So we also have Pluto at 10 degrees of Capricorn. We have Uranus at 13 degrees of Aries. And then we have Mercury at 14 degrees of Cancer. Those are the three that are a little bit later in the signs, but still not up to the middle of the sign either. And so this can be the dawning of a new day for everyone. And another reason why that can be, we can be ready for that right now, is because there is a grand trine in water signs. And that means that there are three planets in Cancer, which are Mars, Jupiter, and Mercury, are trining Saturn in Scorpio, and they're also trining Neptune in Pisces. And the reason why we can feel like starting something new or simply beginning again is because we can have the emotional support of knowing what our hearts or our, our feelings are, and we can get a lot of support from other people, particularly family members and friends, and that's because the sign of cancer is loaded and that's what it rules. Also, there can finally be some money around, maybe not as much as you'd like, but it can be coming your way because Saturn in Scorpio is trining those planets in Cancer. And with that money and that emotional support, you could decide to sort of pick up an old hope or a wish or a dream and begin to make it come true. And that's what I mean by the dawn of a new day. And that is because we have a lot of things going for us right now and the planets are positioned to help us out as well. However, there are two things that we need to be aware of as we go forward. One of them is that there are five planets in the cardinal signs all squaring and opposing each other. So those same three planets in Cancer, Mars, Jupiter, and Mercury, are squaring Uranus in Aries, and they are opposing Pluto in Capricorn. And that simply means that not everyone is in agreement about their values. And in fact, there can be some people who can 
be quite challenging right now. However, because there are also three retrograde planets, remember Pluto is retrograde, Uranus is retrograde, and Neptune is retrograde. And because of those three retrograde planets, it means that people can be going back now and reviewing prior decisions. In fact, what I think that means is that a former no that you may have received could turn into a yes upon extra review. And it is possible you may hear a yes on something by this fall. And that could help the dawning of a new day as well. However, the sticking point is the fact that the full moon on Monday at zero degrees of Aquarius is exactly opposite the sun at zero degrees of Leo. Both of these signs are fixed signs, and fixed signs don't budge. And both of them, the lights, are being squared almost exactly by Saturn in Scorpio, which is a financial sign. So there can be some confusion, or certainly some indecision right now, about how much money to put into something new or whether you'll get all the financing that you need. So there is that question about, you know, there's a lot of difference between knowing where the money is and having it in your hands. And right now I'm not certain that everyone has it in their hands, but still, even with that indecision, I think that this is the dawn of a new day, and I think that's gonna be wonderful for all of us. Okay, what does this mean to all 12 of the sun signs? Well, Aries, for you, I think that you can be benefiting from the fact that the sun is now at zero degrees of Leo and it is trining your sun. That means somebody rather cheerful, probably good looking, and certainly a person that likes to have fun or is rather good humored can be attracted to you or you can be sharing some good times with a person like that and that would make you feel good, Aries. And I hope you do that because Mars, your own ruler, is conjuncting Jupiter at six degrees in Cancer and Mercury is in Cancer as well. And so those three planets are harshly squaring your sun sign and that simply means that if you wanna overdo something, you might get in a little trouble for that Aries, so you need to take it easy. And also Pluto in Capricorn is squaring your sun and it is retrograde, meaning that management is reviewing something and it might be about you. And that is because Uranus is in your sign and it is retrograde as well. So somebody's gonna have to go back and redo something. And so I suggest, Aries, that you sort of go into low gear right now. Don't try to speed up. Don't try to overdo things. Don't try to be more passionate right now. You could do too much and that could get you in a lot of trouble. So if you could sort of gear down a little bit and calm down a little bit right now, it might really help you in the long run. And there are so many planets, four of them squaring Uranus in your sign, that I think you need a little guidance on how to sort of back off or simply um, step back and perhaps maybe even change your mind about something and try to go a little slowly or else walk a little more softly around people right now because it's your own ruler that's squaring your sun and it is conjuncting Jupiter. So if somebody really wanted to take it out on you, they might try that, Aries. That's why I'm suggesting caution. Okay, what does it mean to a Taurus? Well, Taurus, this is simply a time when I think that you are going to feel the fact that at the end, there can be a lot of indecision about financial matters. And the reason why is that that full moon in Aquarius is squaring your sun. And the sun in Leo is squaring your sun. And that direct Saturn in Scorpio is opposing your sun. And so Taurus, I think that there is a financial matter from the past that you have absolutely got to reconcile or start attending to in some way because not only is it not going to go away, but you can't get approval on anything else until you take care of it. And so you're gonna really have to redo something there. It is very fortunate for you that Venus has now gone into Virgo and is trining your sun and so is Pluto in Capricorn. That means you could be getting some good news, Taurus, about a health issue, maybe little by little, there is a health matter that is improving or clearing up. And since Virgo rules accounting, maybe because you've been a little bit more careful with your bank book, maybe there's a little more money there and that could be great as well. 
and your long-term interests are somewhat subject to change, so you need to pay attention to those as well. But it's wonderful that Venus is now trining your sun. That can give you help and support in small ways from people who really like you. And I think you should sort of take advantage of that if you can, Taurus. Okay, what does it mean to a Gemini? Well, Gemini, oh, at last, Gemini, there are no planets in your sun sign, and there have been all year long. But Jupiter has moved on, and even Mars has moved on. And so you can almost breathe a sigh of relief right now, Gemini. And the reason why is there isn't much standing in your way. And in fact, this could represent a little bit of a cooling off period for you. And I think that you really need it, Gemini. You could have been pressured a great deal lately by a lot of things and you could have been coming on a little too strong too and that could have alienated people and so now I think you are going to have a chance to calm down the the sad news is though that since Venus is now in Virgo squaring your Sun it just means that somebody who's very nice and maybe a little shy and rather modest but likes you and has been able to help you or assist you in some way may be deciding to go on their own way now and there could be uh, somebody leaving you Gemini I, even though they're very nice and the relationship is fine, they could be wanting to do something else. After all, it's the dawn of a new day for everyone. And so I think you may experience the loss of somebody who is moving on. You wouldn't lose their friendship, but you certainly would lose their presence. And I think you're just going to have to accept that as a natural part of things right now because their new day is dawning. And I hope yours is too, as soon as you get a little rest, Gemini. Okay, what does it mean to a Cancer? Well, a Cancer, this is sort of a good time and a bad time for you. It can just simply be a good time if you want it to be because Jupiter is in your sign for a whole year. However, it is exactly conjunct Mars today at 6 degrees and Mercury is in your sign as well at 14 degrees. And so that simply means with Mars and Jupiter conjuncting each other that you need to be sort of on high alert, Cancer. And the, it isn't because you don't have a very good relationship with people, you do. And that is because there's a grand trine in water signs right now. It isn't because you're missing money. In fact, there can be a delayed payment coming your way since Saturn in Scorpio is now trining your sun as well. And it isn't as if you can't make a dream come true because you do have the emotional support and the a wherewithal to go ahead and try to make a dream come true because Neptune in Pisces is trying in your sun. Oh, so where's the trouble, Cancer? It is because we all have to be on high alert right now because Uranus in Aries, a malefic planet, is being squared by Mars in your sign, Cancer, and Mars is conjunct Jupiter. In other words, Mars represents war, greed, jealousy, passion, even hate. And if it wants to really uh, accelerate that, it is being conjuncted by Jupiter, and that would accelerate it, and Uranus is squaring that planet. So when two malefic planets like Uranus and Mars square or oppose or even conjunct each other, there is danger. And since Cancer rules the United States and Canada, we have got to look out for danger right now. And that's why you've got to really keep your guard up, Cancer. Not because your life isn't going okay, but because it is subject to sudden change due to somebody who can suddenly erupt. So this is not the time to be overcritical or moody or touchy because someone else could just decide they can't take it and they may want to harm you, Cancer. And that is why you really need to play it cool and not overreact. You don't need to, Cancer. You're the person that's sitting holding the aces and you will be all year long. So you do not need to exert your authority right now. But if you should try, you may really regret that as there could be a quite sudden and swift attack or an abrupt departure that would be on bad terms. There's also the possibility, since Uranus is in Aries, and Aries is a fire sign, there can be a danger of burns. And all of us have to watch out for that as well. Okay, what does it mean to a Leo? Well, Leo, it's wonderful that the sun is in your sign. And that is because it rules your sign, and that means you can be at your best right now, Leo. And certainly, you can be anticipating the dawn of a new day. 
And that is because you could be filled with optimism right now. However, that full moon on Monday at zero degrees of Aquarius is opposing the sun at zero degrees of your sign. And since those are both fixed signs, that simply means it's a little hard for you to change your mind on something. And you certainly do like to be in control because your sign rules leadership. However, Saturn in Scorpio is squaring the sun in your sign and it's squaring the full moon in Aquarius. And that means you or someone around you can be very undecided or even confused about a financial matter. It can be a financial matter that is related to something or someone in your past or to an older person or to money that's just been held for a very long time. And I'm not sure that anybody is ready to quite go forward and release that money right now, but it, I think it is going to be coming your way. You just might not get everything that you want right now, Leo, but I do think the dawning of a new day is on your doorstep, Leo. And because the sun in your sign trines Uranus and Aries, it could happen quite suddenly and be exactly the right thing for you. So I hope that you are, are gonna be able to go forward right now perhaps even very swiftly but I wouldn't put all my eggs in one basket right now because counting on the money is not the same as having the money and I think you should pace yourself according to what you've actually got in your hand not what is due just to be on the safe side okay what does it mean to a Virgo well, Virgo, lucky you, you have Venus in your sun sign, and that simply means you could be in the mood for love, Virgo. And also, it's wonderful that at last, after more than a year, there are no planets in Gemini squaring your sun. So the shoe's on the other foot now. Virgo, not only can you be rather pleased with the way that you have progressed in the last year, little by little, you could be sort of proud of that in your own modest way, but Pluto in Capricorn is trining your sun. Although it's retrograde, it means that some things are under review now, and there is the possibility, Virgo, that a prior no could turn into a yes perhaps by this fall when Pluto goes direct, because you are more popular with management than you realize, or a change in government or corporate rules and regulations would tend to benefit you. So stick around, Virgo, you're doing a good job. And at last, you don't have quite so many challenges as you have had in the last year. Okay, what does it mean to a Libra? Well, Libra, this is a time that can be stressful for you. And the reason why is that there are so many planets in cardinal signs. Pluto in Capricorn is squaring your sun, and Mars, Jupiter, and Mercury in Cancer are also squaring your sun, and Uranus is opposing your sun. You are the person that needs to be on high alert as far as danger goes, and also as far as the threat of a breakup in a partnership or the nullification of some sort of contract that could happen very suddenly because somebody decides they just can't take it anymore and they take off instead. So you can't please everybody right now, Libra, and that's why that full moon on Monday uh, trining your sun is very good for you. It means that instead of you getting dragged down by a bunch of challenges and by a bunch of people that you can't please anyway, there is going to be the opportunity for the dawn of a new day for you, Libra. And you really need to, the minute that you hear of anything new that you're interested in, you need to pursue it. Venus, your own sun sign ruler, is in Virgo right behind your sun sign, so you do have protection behind the scenes. And you do have somebody that is quite fond of you behind the scenes in their own modest way. And so that person is going to stay with you, Libra. They're very reliable. They are your friend. And they can help you go ahead and start the dawn of a new day as well. So I would say that you do sort of have to try to turn your back on problems you can't solve and go in a new direction because I think you'll be able to, or at least you'll be able to see the possibility of that under that full moon in Aquarius on Monday. Okay, what does it mean to a Scorpio? Well, Scorpio, this is a time when I think that you are not sure of how to spend your money. And the reason why is the full moon on Monday at zero degrees of Aquarius is squaring your sun exactly where you have Saturn. 
and the sun in Leo at zero degrees of Leo is also squaring your sun. And so it simply means that not everyone is seeing things the way you are right now. And I, I don't think it's a question of you not having the money, Scorpio. I think you do have the funds or the assets to go ahead and make a dream come true and you can be very sure of your feelings. That's the effect of that grand trine in water signs. It's just that I think that you are trying to decide whether you want to spend the money on something, whether it's worth it to you, uh, whether you'll get enough uh, good return on your money. So I think that you are a person that has very high standards and wants to do something as inexpensively as possible, and you have the money to do it. But I think that other people are not exactly seeing things the way you are, and that can be slowing you down. So I think this is a time of indecision for you, but it won't remain. You just need to have a little more confidence in yourself, Scorpio, because a dream can come true, and you can, you can make that happen. So there is a dawn of a new day coming up for you as well, Scorpio, as soon as you decide on it, because it'll be there. Okay, what does it mean to a Sagittarius? Well, Sagittarius, lucky you. The sun has just come into Leo, and so at zero degrees, it's trining your sun and Uranus in Aries, which is under some duress right now because it's being harshly aspect, aspected, but still it's trining your sun. Simply means that you are going to have somebody who is very nice, probably rather good looking, charismatic, and is a born leader on your side, Sagittarius, and able to help you go forward right now, which is good. While Mars was in Gemini opposing your sun, you could have endured a loss or some harm. And that could be sort of bothering you, but right now you can turn that around, Sagittarius, because Uranus in Aries is also trying in your sun. It's retrograde, and that means, Sagittarius, there is the possibility by this fall that a no could turn into a yes instead as these planets uh, reverse and go forward again. But for right now, the dawn of a new day is yours for the taking, Sagittarius, because you're going to have wonderful people who are sort of your type behind you and really cheering you on. Good luck. Okay, what does it mean to a Capricorn? Well, Capricorn, this is a time when I think that you can see the possibility of the dawning of a new day, and that is because that full moon in Aquarius is going to be right ahead of your sun sign on Monday, which is good. So there will be a lot of light on a future path that you could take if you wanted to, Aquarius, or I mean Capricorn. And I would, if I were you, at least try something new or try something experimental. What have you got to lose? Nothing. Your sign is a very conservative sign, Capricorn, but your sign is also being very harshly aspected, and it's going to stay that way for a while. And the reason why is that Uranus in Aries is squaring your sun, and Mars Jupiter and Mercury in Cancer are opposing your sun. And so that, and you have Pluto in your sun sign. Mars and Pluto are the ruler of Scorpio, but those rulers are opposing each other, and Mars is being harshly squared by Uranus, indicating the threat of danger right now. And so you need to step back from something, Capricorn. You're a little too close to getting hurt yourself. And so you're going to need perhaps to change friends or stop seeing some people that can be on the dangerous side or try not to be around people who are unstable right now because you could become a victim of theirs and that wouldn't do you any good. It's very lucky that Venus has just come into Virgo and is trining your sun because that means that someone who is somewhat modest but likes you very much will be there to help you out sort of with the small stuff or the details if you want them to be and that is how with some help behind you. That is how perhaps you can make the dawn of a new day happen, and you might get a hint of that by Monday. Okay, what does it mean to an Aquarian? <clears throat> well, Aquarius, that full moon is going to be in your sun sign on Monday at zero degrees. Remember, seven planets are at six degrees or less 
in their signs right now and all 10 planets are only in the first half of their signs. There's nothing in the second half of the signs in the constellations right now. So Aquarius, you could see the dawning of a new day. You may not even know what to do with it, but at least you could get the hint that something new is on your horizon and you'd be exactly right. But there can be a very strong leader opposing you or challenging you because the sun in Leo is opposite that full moon in your sign. And even worse, Saturn in Scorpio, which rules money, other people's money and financing, is squaring that full moon in your sign on Monday. And so if you're wondering if you're going to get all the money that you want right now, I think the answer is no, Aquarius, but I think you could get some. It's just that people are a little undecided right now, or they're a little bit confused, or they're not sure about how much something is going to cost or whether it's going to be worth it in the end. And for sure, nobody wants to take any kind of a risk financially right now. So you might have to wait a little bit longer to get what you want, Aquarius, but it's still the dawning of a new day. And despite indecision or confusion, we are all going to be able to go forward in some way in our lives, particularly you. Congratulations. Okay, what does it mean to a Pisces? Well, Pisces, this is simply a time when the pressure is off because there are no more planets in Gemini squaring your sun. And that is good <clears throat> because Uranus is right ahead of your sun sign in Aries and it is being squared by its own ruler, Mars in Cancer. And that means you have to sort of watch where you walk, Pisces, and be real careful. Don't be in the wrong place at the wrong time or out too late at night or with suspicious characters because just by associating in any way, you could perhaps become the victim of something rather dangerous right now because someone could be around you that is very unstable and they could just sort of explode. On the other hand, if you were going to stay home and be around family members and really enjoy your home and think of how you can make a dream come true, you could do that, Pisces. And that is because there's a dawn of a new day for everyone right now. And that full moon is right behind your sun sign, which means in the background of your life, maybe you can see a way to make something work right now in your future. You just would need to be a little bit quiet about it at the same time. All right, thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, you can see our show anytime you want on our website, starborninstitute.org. Bye.